So I've got um, a whole lot of old Super 8 reels uh, from the about 1974-75 time and to add to the Nagra SN tapes that I've also been transferring and preparing these Super 8 reels for transfer um, in a lab over in Sydney. So I want to cut them off these little 50 foot reels and I'll be putting them on to 400 foot reels. Um, and uh, just very briefly, um, best thing I find is to use one of these um, Super 8 uh, tape splices made in Italy, um, similar to the ones used for 16mm. I haven't seen too many of the Super 8 ones, we may be able to get them online, um, but these are really excellent. Uh, the tape is a specific width, uh, you can probably improvise, but I was able to get some proper ones from Van Eck Video Services in the Netherlands, who shipped them off to me in Australia, and uh, that was very good. Um, if you're worried about the uh, picture getting dirt or stuff on from or fingerprints, well you could use white gloves for these ones, I mean 1974 so old, I'm not going to bother. Um, so, okay, um, sort of set to go, this will be the take up reel, and um, I'm going to start loading this stuff up. using a simple Hanimex Super 8 and Standard 8 uh, viewer which seems to work well without doing too much damage to the, um, the film and I, you know, I'll look at that um, if I want to look at it all, maybe to avoid dust and scratchings, I might just do it like this. Um, however, it's a good idea if, if you haven't already got it to do a log, a detailed log of what's on there, on the original 8mm tapes. Um, I've already actually got a, a log still existing from the um, 70s itself um, so all I'm doing is a log that says what which particular reels and what they were originally called um, I'm putting on to the individual reels. These are 400 foot, these are 50 um, but I can load 9 reels um, so say 450 I wouldn't put much more on than that here we are around the side, um, just to show you the um, yeah. Animex picture on here, focus adjustment, um, doesn't give you a very clear view but um, enough to have an idea unless you want to do more detail on anything. Um, this material is actually from Ireland, May of 1974, coast of Ireland. And um, what I really want to show you is um, the actual splicing of the tapes together because um, old splices are really not very good news um, and what I like to do is to and I'm just gonna go tight in on this so you can see what I'm doing okay so I'm going to 
trim this at the end of the picture and get the next reel and take the leader off I'm going to leave a little bit of the white leader at the front so that I can follow the log when the transferred files come back from the laboratory I can see where clearly where the original reel ended and the new one started so just aligning these cut ends here and then okay so you can just do one simple splice cut but um, particularly if there's any kind of projection going on I prefer to do a double splice so I just the easiest way I find just to turn the splicer around then flip over the so you're re reversing things basically flip over the bits being spliced okay and that's a double splice which will, should make it rock steady to go through a projector anything probably um, last a good time just check the reel on check to see it's running through and all as well and here we go yep no problem so um, so um, basically there you have it um, no, uh, no great mysteries or, or problems there. Um, let me see. Um, get all of these. Uh, these reels. I'm going to put this. Once there's 450 foot, I'm going to put on these. I actually got these and ones like this. A little hard to come by. I mean, you can probably find them in various places from. Uh, but um, online you can buy them from, I, I got these sent, I think both of these lot came from America. Um, if you uh, look around. And um, then away you go. Um, there are other kinds of splices, but if you can get these, these ones, um, just remember what it's called, it's similar to the 16 mil ones. Um, says Construzione in Calatrici Rapid Roma CIR uh, Super 8 and this is specifically for Super 8 which is excellent um, if you have standard 8 I find um, the 16 millimeter version of this of these are probably easier to work with if, if you can't get a I'm not even sure whether they made a standard 8 version of this but you can actually make a 16 millimeter one work, um, work for standard 8 um, as uh, it was of course standard 8 was 16 millimeter tape cut in half so if you line up the holes right uh, you can actually make it work anyway Super 8 double splicing ready to go off to you know once on a reel Complete reel send it off to the lab and back come the digital files and in theory you never need to look at these again um, I wouldn't throw them out I keep them just in case and um, there you have it <laughs>